I was 17, and I remember, like, my boyfriend, like, well, my husband was my boyfriend at the time, and he just picked us up from school, like, all, like, me and my friends, we loaded up in the van, and we, we just, like, skipped class, and we went to, um, the Houston Warehouse. It was, like, the best moment of my life. Like, before that, we got donuts, and then we just, like, like, all, like, sugared up, sugar high, waited in line for hours, got our tickets, well, no, there was a complication. It was like, we don't take cards, we only take cash. And I was like, oh, we only have ga cards. We, we went to the ATM and we finally got our cash. And then we got our tickets. And then we started, like, we relaxed a little bit. But then we drove around because it was like hours before the show. And then the show finally started around like, I think, 7 p.m. Mrs. Mayfire opened up for Inter Shikari and it was awesome. Like we were all dancing in the crowd and it was like my first mosh pit, it was great. And like Maddie Mullins like comes like crowd surfing and he kicked me in the face and it was awesome. <laughs> if you've never seen Let Live, Jason Allen Butler is amazing. <laughs> I know he's not the whole band, but just if you haven't seen them, buy tickets right now. Like, I don't care where you are. If they're cross country, like, if they're in Sweden, just go there. Because it's amazing. It's, like, worth the travel. It was worth the four-hour drive. It was the first show that I finally saw where people weren't just standing there recording with their phones. Some of my favorite events that we saw were Asking Alexandria before they came to <laughs> I saw Motionless and White. And it was whenever they, they did like the extra song and it was reincarnate whenever it was new and it was amazing. Everyone was like moshing and like they were, everyone was insane. It was great and it was really cool because they stayed even though they didn't have to. <laughs> Kubicon, Every Time I Die, Bullet For My Valentine before they... Well, they're so good. The Word Alive, A Train. Aiden before William Control to go see Here Comes the Kraken and they finally came down from Mexico and it was amazing. Since then we've seen like so many other bands I can't really remember but we saw Miss May I, Villanaya. Thank you for watching. Love you guys.